Welcome back to Tarantulas with Shanti. It's another Friday, but this is a special one because yesterday the humans had their feast and hopefully you all had a lot of camaraderie and you got to know some of your family members or your friends better, had meaningful conversation, and now you're ready to relax and watch the tarantulas have their feast. So without further ado, let's get started on the feeding. Are you hungry? This is Big Bird, Alasiodora parahypana, and this one is one of my tarantula sitting guests, and I think she's hungry. This little G. Porteri, I am tarantula sitting. Should be hungry. Uh oh. I don't know where that went. I think it went under you. Yeah. It got away. Little one. You know, little one here. Get it. I don't want you to get the tongs. Well, either way, this won't be able to go hunting for that bigger roach. Here's my little female, Aegeniculata. Got a little Aphonacoma simani in here. And I'm uh, tarantula sitting this one as well. Uh oh. I dropped it down into the burrow. So I suspect this one will go down in there and find it. its food, and everything will go just as planned. This little G. Polker piece might be another little thing meaning this one has a temper. Only time will tell. This one also belongs to my friend, so the other one I'm tarantula sitting. This is Maro. She's an Acanthoscuria geniculata. And she belongs to my friend Jonathan. And we tried to pair her, but she wasn't interested. And I've been thinking she's in pre molt. Uh, she's huge. I don't know if she'll eat. Let's try. Definitely interested. I hope she molts soon. Because the male we have is on loan. Anyway, I'm not sure how long she's going to hang out like this. On to the next. A big mature male, Acanthoscuria geniculata. Hoping he's hungry. He's hanging in there waiting for a girl to molt. Alright, I guess not this time. Got a little Embalfori communal here that I'm tarantula sitting. And uh, a couple of them are actually out. So I wanted to see, maybe I could interest this one in some food. Nope. <laughs> well, I guess they can have it later, but we got to see them. One of them, anyway. There were two. E. Colonicus. That was over quickly. 
Pamphlobedius mascara. Lil to Cal Kallenbergi. It's a little P. Cambridge eye. That's all we're gonna get to see. So I promise my next feeding video will be way better. So just hang on for a little bit longer <clears throat> until I can get my lighting situated, my camera stuff worked out, and I promise you're gonna get a better video. I've just had some problems where my backup light is not working properly. So I'm just using this one little light and it's not sufficient, so. Just stay with me and uh, you will get some really good footage here in the future. This is my Chromatopalma cyanopubescence. I'm not sure if she'll be hungry, but probably. She's a little bit leery of the dubia because she fought with a big dubia last year when I filmed for Fatal Fangs and she really did a great job. I got some wonderful shots of her, but I think in the process the dubia may have injured her. I'm not sure because then her next molt was really difficult and I was really worried about her. So, um, yeah, I'm, I think she's a little bit hesitant. There she's going to do it. Okay. I think she might have had a bad experience and I shouldn't have let her fight with something so large. I don't know if um, Little Thing is going to come out or not. All I can tell you is she's quite feisty for a uh, Grandma Stola poker paste. I see her butt. She's not turning around. She just might not be hungry. All right, that was her striking because that's what she does. She'll probably come right up. Oh, yep, there you go. Full bore. Um, <laughs> do not tread on her. It's not advised. It's going to be really nice when I get some different lighting here, because this is just terrible. I'm pretty much in the dark. Now I'm dimming it because it's just too bright. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is when it's supposed to happen. All right. Um, I'm going to back off a bit. This light is just not... I'm not right. Better if it's up here. That's what I need. I need to put it on a bigger tripod. All right, so a little thing. Let's see if she's interested in food. Yes, she is. This is my Aphona Pelma Calcades, and she has been busy webbing up the top of her enclosure. 
there aren't any chew marks on there, so she hasn't been trying to chew her way out. But it looks like she's done a lot of webbing. So a lot of my new worlds are webbing up a lot. Now, I do not know if she's going to be hungry. She tends to get eat a lot and then fast for quite a while. So let me try to see what she wants. Try offering her something small. Oh. You don't want this? She struck, but she didn't show any fangs when she did that, so she is probably telling me that she's not hungry. You want this? I don't think you do. Okay. Nope. So my grandma stole a Porteri female and she has webbed up her enclosure. It looks beautiful. And uh, she has a little bit of an attitude, which is fine by me, because I don't make it a habit of handling my tarantulas. She's probably not going to be hungry. Oh, well, I don't know if that was hunger or so much as a bite. She is a little feisty, as you can see. Uh, I'm not sure if she's interested in food. Let's find out. You want this food, or you're just trying to bite me? You're sassy. I don't think she's into food. I think that was just, just letting me know she's never going to be a child's pet. <laughs> I don't want you to let this get away. I'll give you one more chance. How about that? One more chance. Come on. You hungry? Come on. Take it. All right. Well, I guess she'll take it. She'll take my finger, too. My little old man. New tocald obopilosum. He is a Honduran curly hair. And he doesn't usually like dubias, but we can try him. And you can see his little butt's doing pretty good. It's not too skinny. So he has been eating and he ate quite a bit this last time, so he's probably not going to be hungry. You're gonna eat? Nope. I don't think he's gonna eat. No, he's not hungry. It's my little Nandu tri peppy girl. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be hungry. Yep. She molted a couple weeks ago. She wasn't hungry last time, so she definitely is hungry this time. Now, for the longest time, I thought she was a he, but I'm pleasantly surprised that uh, I have a female. This is Toot. She is a little Laziadora Parahibana who is not growing as fast as my first one, or actually my second one. Um, that's Peekaboo. She's a lot bigger, but Toot has a little bit of an attitude right now. She's an adolescent. Let me get her to come out. I know she's hungry. There 
here she comes. <laughs> she always <laughs> comes out with this attitude. She's so funny. You hungry? Thing about the dubia, they don't move enough. Oh, want to spook her away from her food. She looks a little round. She might not be hungry this time around, so. You gonna eat, Tudor? So we're just gonna sit here like this for a while. Here, girl, just take this one. There. <laughs> Finally. Uh-oh. No, we don't want that to happen. All right, Tudor. Go back. Go back into your... Come on. Take your feet with you. Come on. There you go. This is my Nicaraguan curly hair. Her name is Munchkin. She's probably gonna sneak out the other side, but I'm sure she's hungry. She only ate once since her last molt. Okay, this is Fiza, my male Brachypelma hamore. He is fangless Fiza. Little guy doesn't have his fangs. And so I try to feed him the roaches that have just molted. Hopefully he'll come out and go for this one. He might not be hungry. What is he doing? I can't tell if he has fangs or not. Try to get a closer look. Well, even if his fangs have broken off already, which they probably have, I think he'll be able to manage this. This roach. So I'm going to leave him alone and let him eat. Promictopus species green femur. Pima scarrow. Little cow, Kallenbergi. E. Colonicus. Mm -hmm. 